You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. This is a case of Wyatt versus Roberts. Thank you. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Wyatt, you claim that your husband, Mr. Roberts, is questioning paternity of your one-year-old daughter, London, and it's driving a wedge into your marriage. You say that you got married after knowing each other for only two months, uh, and your husband is denying the child only to hide his cheating ways. Yes, Your Honor. Now, Mr. Roberts, you say that your uncertainty concerning Ms. Wyatt's daughter stems from the fact that her ex is still in her life. Yes. You claim that every time she kicks you out of the house, she calls for him to help, and you wonder what's going on between them. Yes. You both agree the marriage is heading south fast and are hoping that the results of this test help you decide if this marriage can be saved. Yeah. Now, Ms. Wyatt, describe the current state of your marriage. Your Honor, our marriage is on the verge of divorce right now. First of all, he's denying our daughter, and I think it's just to cover up the fact that he's, he, you know, does a lot of cheating. Like, for instance, one time I went to the store, and a neighbor, he's 17 years old, and he came to the car and was like, hey, and Greg just got upset for nothing. Like, he's just, he just so insecure and so hold jealous. Hold on, hold on. Time out. That, that is so wrong. I'm gonna tell you something. This guy likes my wife. You feel me? What older woman let a young guy flirt with He them? was speaking. Knowing kids these days. You feel me? Your Honor. They, they don't respect marriage. They don't respect the elders. You feel me? But what so, what husband is gonna get upset because a 17 year old boy is is speaking? Like, are you serious? He's a neighbor. So let me ask you this. Now, how old are you, Miss Wyatt? I'm 33. And how old are you, Miss Wyatt? 23. Robert? So there's an age difference between the two of you that's significant. Yes. Have you given him any reason to feel upset? I yes. never, ever, ever gave him any reasons yes, to yes, feel like he should be insecure. So now, Mr. Roberts, you obviously have a different account. Tell me. Well, first of all, it's the thing with the exes, you feel me? Every time, like, we went through a problem, she'll send me home, next thing you know, the exes is at the house. Your Honor, Your Honor, Your Honor, Your Honor, Your Honor, yes. Your Honor can, I, can I say, it's, first it's of all, of first it's, of it's, all, I've never ever just called the ex over just to call an ex over. Like, okay. if we get into an argument and he either leaves or I make him go home to his mom, which he loves to do because he always runs back to them telling them stuff about me. Matter of fact, his mom and his sisters, they all watch him cheat on me. She's alive. They see uh, all of that. All right, now, Mr. Hold Roberts, on, I, I, I got to hear from you now oh, yes, because I want to hear about the exes because that's more than one ex, right. you say? Yes, it's two. And they're coming over to your house. Yes, as like as like an example. You feel me? Like, one time, Atari went flat. She, we was, he she couldn't had, fix she it. She had to go to the hospital. He couldn't fix she it. She had to go to the hospital because it was, like, some issues with the pregnancy. So. I went out and tried to change the tire. I didn't have the, all the tools because when you ride on the rim, my ex it's going to get jammed. I, I have that's, that's very possible. When I, the next morning, you feel me? I feel said, you. Yeah, the next morning, <laughs> the next morning, she say, how about I let my ex come fix the tire? Ms. Wyatt, is that true? He was out there for two hours, like he said, trying to fix. Well, I feel him, because I might have been out there two hours, too. OK, I mean, but sometimes watch this. it's hard to change okay, the tire. OK, but let, let me say this, Your Honor. First of all, the reason why I went to the hospital is my, I, had, I was pregnant, and the baby died. Oh, um, so, so the hospital, they pretty much just gave me something for pain and sent me home. So I was going to my, um, the person that was caring for me, the doctor that was caring for me, so that she can take care of me. Yes. He couldn't fix the tire. The family don't like us. So I had to call whoever else I had to call. I'm in Florida. My family is in California. So you needed to get I there. I needed to get where I had to go. Did that should have been understandable. Time out. Time out. It was two exes because Hold the up. one that could fix the tire listen, didn't have transportation. Listen, listen, listen. The one that had the transportation brought him. So and they're bo they both have my back. You know, anything that I need, they don't disrespect him in no way. If he's not trying to do it, I'm, I'm going to make it happen. Time but Ms. Wyatt, while I understand the nature of your medical emergency, I have to say, you keep talking about your exes having your back. Shouldn't your husband be the person? <laughs> but he's not. Back? He, he doesn't. But he said he, he was outside trying exactly. to fix it. Okay, exactly. but he didn't. So what, what were we supposed to do? Just sit exactly. and wait? You wait, like I, I said, I can't wait till the see, next morning. See, that's his thing. He'll Listen. sit and wait. I, I don't well, could sit you and have wait. taken a taxi together? 
Do you have to call another um, man? I didn't have no money, Your Honor, and he didn't either. I need to hear more about your doubts. What other reasons do you have to believe that this child maybe is not yours? Well, it that's one, it. It was one more incident with my best friend. You feel oh, me? what and incident like, is that? She said she was trying to do it to get back at me, which the probably women that serious to even go that far. First of all, Your Honor, you know I'm what? What finished. happened? Um, I was with him in the car, and he was like, bro, look, your girl texting me. Um, why is she texting you? First of all, then Your he Honor. he showed me they're, they've been first conversating. First of all, Your Honor, Then he true, asked her, can you come true. over? But he was talking to my so friend. So your best friend what? He was talking to texting my friend. your wife. Yes. He was talking and to my friend's friend. And that's true. I did text him, but I was trying to prove a point. He What through, point? Throughout our marriage, he had, he had online profiles. He was talking to women. I've had women contact me saying, um, is that, is, are you married to him? Because that's my boyfriend. I'm like, we're married. How is that your boyfriend? Time so out, when I, time I don't know any other way, honestly, I don't know any other way Listen. to let him know how I feel. So I tried to get him back just to prove a point and so he said he can feel how I feel when he cheats on me or when he so talks to me. So what did the time text me. say, Mr. Robert? Can I come over and, and I stuff told like him that? no. And so, like, I started getting upset. Like, I walked away from but him. But that's his, but that's his best friend who he claims this is. We're like Why brothers. Why she keep trying to cut me off? Why, what you trying to hide? Um, like I, I was saying. I don't have to hide nothing. I don't have like to hide I was nothing. Saying. You also said in your statement to the court that you found that your wife, Ms. Wyatt, also has online dating yes, profiles. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Do you like have any evidence of that? Oh, right. yes, I do. Oh. What is this? Jerome, can you hand me that, please? Sure. What is that, Mr. Roberts? Uh, I believe that's, that's Match.com. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. This is a dating profile for Ms. Wyatt. Yes. And I'm reading a portion that says, I am currently not looking for a relationship, but if nature takes its place, then so be it. Right. First, okay, well, I'm gonna Can tell you, you like explain I'm gonna tell you like yourself, this, Your Honor. Like I, said, like I said, like I said, our marriage is on the verge of divorce. Yeah, I got into a, a marriage just after two months of us, but at the same time, he, it's going on three years, and he he's not stepping up to the plate. And time I'm getting out. tired time of out. it. Like, I'm just Late. getting tired. What? So, uh, yeah, I made the profiles because at some point, I'm going to move on if he don't tighten up. I have two boys and a girl. I feel like I have three boys and a girl. And so, at the same time, it's like, I, I want to see how it feels to actually be with a real man. So, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, real I made man. the profiles, but she, I told real him, woman. I told this, him this that is not, I was going to move This is not a real woman. And I'm so, you said you made this profile I told him after I was you do told it. him you were going to yeah. make it, and you told him you, you're pretty much done with it. He ignored me marriage. and put on some Time headphones out. Who, and walked listen, out, and I continued listen. on with my profile. So, listen. obviously, he what, don't care either. Listen, hold up. What man, you feel me, going gonna to be always the man if every time a problem go down, you throw him out, like, almost every week. Your Honor. Like, you every get thrown problem, out every week? Just about. Everything. How is he with your daughter? I don't know. He's he's OK. He, you know, he, he treats all the kids OK. But he's not, he doesn't provide. Like, he doesn't buy any pampers, any wipes. I have to do it all. And he been saying, I'm going to get a job. I'm going to get a job. Okay. What you waiting me, for? I apply to all these jobs. Did you get my resume? Like, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, oh, so until next one. you find oh, a job of your choice, something that you're interested he in wants, applying see, he's for, a pretty boy, can Your you he's do part-time work? Yes. Seasonal I do, work. I even try he's to a do pretty music. boy, so he Listen, got, he I even got try to do stuff gigs. you like, do. I'm a musician, so I try to do little gigs, churches, if he, when, if he everywhere. If really want a job, he'll go and, out there and work with McDonald's if he has to. And I, and I, he got to flip burgers to pay the rent, then he'll flip them burgers. And whatever I can, I will do it. It seems like to me this marriage isn't going the way you thought it would. Right. Right. And as a man, I'm not seeing your commitment on a very basic level, meaning the want and desire to step up, be a husband and father, and provide. Is is this the case? Listen. No. My, yes. That's a yes or no yes. answer. I thought so. And now moving forward, what was your vision when this? all began. My vision I always saw was with well, my mom and dad, you feel me? He come in with flowers, 
he or either that. they dress in the light or Last bought you flowers, flowers more than once. He stayed out all night. You know, I hit like fifth grade and my mom and dad split. Then after that, I didn't always have like the father example always around. And like me and my mom start going at it. She used to tell me, I don't like you because I hate your dad. So she used to throw me out. Like I got through out when I was 15. I literally went out in the streets uh, trying to help out with bills. So I sold with drugs. Do you feel like when Ms. Wyatt throws you out, are you reliving some of those moments? Yes, the same thing with my mom or what I've been through. Like I run to other people which is not always right, because I want to run to girls, other All right. women. Exactly. Ms. Wyatt, I want to hear from your witness. Please stand, ma'am. How are you, Your Honor? I'm wonderful. How are you? All is well. All you is well. You look beautiful. Thank you. Ms. Warren, please state for the court why you don't want your daughter to be with Mr. Roberts. Well, first of all, Your Honor, uh, this DNA, I think, is just an excuse for Greg to, because of his cheating ways. Therefore, I don't know why we're here. And I, I just think he's too young, mm -hmm. too young for an immature. And he's not the correct role model for, for my grandchildren. And you realize that your daughter picked this man. I understand that. Mm -hmm. She had just lost weight, you know, 100, about 150 pounds through a surgery mm -hmm. she had had. Mm -hmm. She's a beautiful young lady, beautiful, Your Honor. You know, and I think that because, me saying that I didn't think it was good, and not only that, just just her being insecure and just him rubbing her the right way at the right time. My thing is, he keeps selling me dreams about playing football. We moved from Florida, which is where I met him, mm -hmm. and then I wanted to become, um, you know, uh, more into the medical field, so I went to California. It didn't work out, so he was like, well, let's go to Georgia. Now, I don't know anybody in Georgia. Okay. So he was like, well, let's go to Georgia. You know, I want to play with the arena football, and I'm like, okay, whatever it's going to do to support you and so that you can help support us, I'm down. We get to Georgia. We've been here in Georgia since, you know, November. He still ain't doing nothing. He's still not working. He's not playing football. Uh, nothing. Let me ask you something, because I'm not hearing this. Are you enthusiastic about the child you have with Miss Wyatt? I mean, are you an involved father? Uh, yeah, of course I am. I'm, when I'm very involved with her all he, the time. He thinks he's involved Every because time. he lives as you can see, with us, I'm always with her. He thinks We're always he's together. involved, but We're when he goes to his together. mom house, he totally forgets. Okay, listen, when she it, sends it, me home, he's... it's not it's not like a normal fight. It's like when we fight, it's a big fight. So it's not a fight. But I'm gonna just can, he, I'm gonna call you the next day and say, kids. Hey, how are you doing? Your Honor, he has other kids and I'm he not, doesn't he doesn't not do a that. Fight with he them. doesn't do that with them. It's not a fight with them. It's not a big fight with them like that. It's not a fight listen, with them. That's what as I'm saying, as being together with them, I never had these biggest fights as I has with that's her. That's not true, Your that's, Honor. That's that what is makes totally, it different. that is not true. So, so you have other children. Yes, yes, he does. He how has many other children do you have? But it's three other women. None of those women have an issue with you and the way that you parent? Well, first of all, they keep me away from my kids when I'm trying to be the father. So that right there makes it more complicated because I want to be in my kid's life. So my, and my dad wasn't there for me. Perhaps, That's why I'm trying to be the there. Father. Your Honor, excuse me. I, I hope he's not the father, you know, because he's okay, a young... Okay, why is she talking? I was talking. Okay, excuse well, me, Well, first of all, Mr. Roberts, she did interrupt you. However, excuse she me, is an elder, so... Don't disrespect your elders, not just in this courtroom, in life. Time out, first of all. No, no, no. She you always time disrespect out. We're not me. on the football field. She always We're not me. on the football <laughs> field, and obviously you're not either because you're not getting a check. That's the problem. Because you told me about all these kids, and you running around talking about you going to be on the football field, but you're not, and you calling time well, out. No, we're I not time out. No, no we're going to time out. We're going to time out right now. Because I know a little bit about football. And the first thing I know about it, it's about being a team. And you don't seem to know how to do that with your own wife. How can you be a team with somebody who's not trying to be a team with you? Now, look, judging from the outside, I'm sitting here, I'm not in your marriage every day. I can see she got a lot of mouth and she don't listen. We've seen that here today. But what I can also see is that she provides for your child, okay. she works, she went with you to Georgia when you wanted to follow your dream, and that's what women do when they love and support well, a man. Just... And I'm trying to understand, if she did all that, why do you doubt her so much, and why do you doubt that this baby is yours? Like, she'll say, when I, like, say we separate, like, whatever the case may be, I come back, she's like, oh, I never talked to any guys 
I'm not that and type of person. I've when you go on her Facebook, uh-huh. you'll see a whole so stack of messages. So you're saying she's got an online not profile true. that yes. looks like she's single. Yes. And every time you break up, she's acting as That's if she's not single true. in yes. your That's mind. That's not true, Yara. So and you they, doubt whether during the time of conception of this child, whether she was only sleeping with you. Yes. OK, I have the results. Would we like to know what they are? Yes. So he can finally shut up. Yara, can I say something, please? The results are in, Miss Warren. I've heard all the testimony I need to hear. Okay. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics in the case of Wyatt versus Roberts. When it comes to one-year-old London, Mr. Roberts, you... Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Wyatt versus Roberts, when it comes to one-year-old London, Mr. Roberts, you are her father. Exactly. Exactly. Are you happy? Yes, exactly. I am. Are you ready to get in the game? And I'm not talking about football. Amen for that. I'm talking about getting in the game we'll see. of trying to save we'll your see. family. Right. I think it's obvious Miss Wyatt loves you. She wouldn't have traveled and followed you across the country if she didn't, or got your back financially while you out here living your dream. Do you want to make it work? I know you said it was over and you started your profile, but I saw a lot of passion and emotion here from you today, and I'm a firm believer where there's still emotion, there's still love. If he, if he can do what he's supposed to do as a husband, as a father, of course. And he says he wants better. So you, will you give him a chance if to try? If he says he wants better, but you have to show me, because actions... Well, I was just about to say, attitudes. will you allow him to try? I'll allow him to try, okay. but not for another year. Okay. So he, I'm putting him on probation. I wish you the best of luck. And I'm glad you've got the answers but that let me, you Let wanted. me give him a hug. Let me give well, him a hug. Well, that would be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> that was wonderful. Court is adjourned. Well, I feel like what Judge Lake said was very inspirational for me as a young man. You know, I know I got to step it up and, you know, be that man, be that father. I do agree with her that I have to listen a little bit more, and I also agree that he needs to step up to the plate. Closed captioning provided by...